Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey everybody, it's Rhonda. And in this video, we are going to go over all the different image generation models inside of Kittle. I had somebody ask me if I would do this, and I figured I'd better knock it out quick while Kittle is still offering free generations with some of the models. Uh, that ends today, so by the time you see this video, it probably won't be active any longer. Um, I also want to apologize right away if my voice goes wonky, I caught some kind of cruddy bug and I'm having a little bit of trouble. So we're just going to get started right away and I picked a prompt from our Creative AI prompt library and I wanted to use a prompt that has text in it so that way um, we can see how each of the models do with text generation as well. All right. So we're just going to start at the top here. And the first one is Ideogram 2.0. And I'm going to paste my prompt in and run it. OK, so that finished up. It didn't take too long. And that looks pretty good. I, I think you know, that's a pretty good rendition of like the vintage uh, hand-drawn illustration style that we were going for. That's not bad. So let's put that up here in the corner and let's find we have ideogram three uh, quality. Now pay attention that 2.0 is only 20 credits or tokens and ideogram three quality is 40 tokens. So keep that in mind when you're generating in Kittle. Um, the difference in quality might not justify the difference in price. Okay, so let's zoom in here a little bit more and this should be done in just a second. There we go. Now, uh, this put this on a black background, even though the prompt says the background is plain white. You know, and that will happen, but it does say at the bottom that the it's optimized for a black background. So I am going to remove that. I'm going to remove that part and I'm going to rerun this because I do want to see it on a lighter background. Of course, this one didn't give me a white background either. And Ideogram does that sometimes. It just gives you an off white or a colored background even when you've asked for something else. But it's not that big of a deal. You can always remove your backgrounds. And so this is version three quality. And that looks good too. And it did generate it a little bit closer to um, the original prompt with the way the text is along the bottom. So that's ideogram. Both of those look pretty darn good. I would be happy with either one of those. So the next one on the list is Sea Dream. And this is Sea Dream 4. So we'll run this. Now this takes a little longer. It says it's going to take about 40 seconds to generate. Okay, and here is Sea Dream 4. Oops. Boy, oh boy, I have such a hard time with uh, Kittle Zoom, the scrolling. So that looks good. It's not uh, what I was really going for, but it's still a good image. I like it. So let's go check Sea uh, Dream 3. Now this one is supposed to generate a lot faster. So let's see how quickly that does. Sea Dream 4 did take quite a while to generate its image. Okay, there's Sea Dream 3. It did okay on the uh, text. So far all of these have done well on the text. Not necessarily these two. Sea Dream didn't do uh, fantastic following the design of the prompt, but that's okay. Let's just move on to the next one. And that would be ChatGPT Image 1 
HD. Now this one takes a long time to generate and it costs 42 tokens. So definitely keep that in mind if you are using ChatGPT to generate images. So let's get this one going and we'll see what it gives us. Alrighty, and that did take quite a bit of time, uh, about 40, 35, 40 seconds. And that's what we got. Again, that's a decent design. Um, it did not do the text well, though. We have um, a freaking ray of sunshine, and it missed the S there, and then it repeats the text underneath it. So not the best, I'd say, for text. So let's go find the regular ChatGPT image one. Now this one's supposed to take less time and it only costs 14 tokens. So let's get this one going and we will see. Alrighty, that one didn't take quite as long, but again, uh, ChatGPT did not do great on the text. I'm uh, not... Okay, this prompt, I must have messed this up somehow. Give me one second to fix this prompt. I'm seeing a problem here. Okay, I fixed that. I accidentally had something doubled up in there. So I'm going to run these two again quick. Let's start with ChatGPT. It's still going to take a while, but uh, we definitely want to get these two regenerated since I gave them points off for not having the text right. Um, but it turned out it was my fault. Okay, so now that I fixed my prompt, it looks pretty good. Now it is still missing. This one is all right. I'm a freaking ray of sunshine. That one looks all right. But this one, this one just says I'm a freaking sunshine. So, you know, I would, uh, you know, knock points off for text in ChatGPT. All right, next is Nano Banana. We're going to give that a shot. Then I'll move that down here, or no, right up here under the Sea Dream. Okay, and that, oops, that is holy. Okay, so we're back here in the prompt library and I've decided to go with just this simple uh, peaches, like clip art image. I think that is a good one to try next. So we'll go back over here to Kittle. And again, we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna start with ideogram. And then let me paste this prompt in here and let's generate. And this should take, this says about 10 seconds. So let's see if it does what it says it's supposed to do. And it should be just about done. Alrighty, and that's, that's not bad. That's a pretty nice generation. I like that. It's not as bold in color but I still like it. I like that from Ideogram. So let's do Ideogram 3. Let's find it in here. Where are we? There we go. And generate this next one. All right, and here is Ideogram 3. The colors are a little bolder, a little brighter. Um, 
and maybe a, it even looks maybe a little more realistic. So I like that. I do like the Ideogram 3. Um, I do wish that they supplied Ideogram 3 Turbo because uh, that's a really good model and that's what I would typically use outside of Kittle. So let's check the next one, which would be Sea Dream. And this is going to take a little while. It takes, you know, Sea Dream takes a bit longer to generate. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's bring this down. Let me make this a little bigger so we can look at it. All right, that has some very nice watercolor aspects to it. And I did ask for a watercolor illustration. So, so far, I think Sea Dream has kept to the style I wanted a little better. Okay, so that's Sea Dream 4. And let's run it under Sea Dream 3. And this one is supposed to only take about 10 seconds to generate. So, we'll see what happens here. Let's move these over so we can see the sea dreams side by side. All right, that one looks nice too. It's just different. Um, definitely not as bold. And I do think that Sea Dream 4 is definitely the winner out of those two for this prompt. You know, and a lot of these, you know, they just generate differently. Uh, so it's going to come down to your personal preferences. All right, next is ChatGPT. This is the Image 1 HD. And I'm going to run the regular ChatGPT Image 1, not HD at the same time. All righty, so here we go with the ChatGPT. And... I do like them. Um, they definitely have like a watercolor feel. They're nice and bold and bright. Um, I actually think I like GPT-1, not HD, a little bit more than the HD version. Again, though, this is, you know, this is all going to be personal preference. I'm just doing this comparison so you can see what they have in here. All right, next up is Nano Banana. Again, this is typically one of my favorite generators. So we'll see what we get. All righty, let's zoom in a little. Whoa, not quite that much. There we go. Um, I really like that. It's subtle, but it does have the watercolor and we've got these like little watercolor splashes in the back. Um, I like that, you know, it says it's clean white with colorful speckled splashes. So that followed the prompt nicely. That is a good generation. All right, so after Nano Banana, then we're gonna start the Flux model. So I'm gonna move this up so I can put all the Flux models together. Uh, Flux Context Pro, let's do right here. And then Flux Schnell, we'll do right next to it. And Flux Pro Ultra and Flux Pro. We'll put these all together here and take a look at them together. All right, so this is Context Pro here. I definitely, let's move this over so we can start here. Flux Context Pro, I really like that one. That one did a nice job. Um, this is Flux Schnell. I'm not a fan. Um, it almost made it like a seamless pattern instead of just a cluster of peaches in the center. Uh, this is Flux One Pro Ultra here. And again, I'm not a fan of the way it <clears throat> doesn't have the peaches in the center in a cluster. It almost looks more like a frame. And then Flux 1.1 Pro. And that one looks pretty good too. Um, I do think, again, 
out of all of these, I think Flux Context Pro did a much better job of adhering to the prompt. I like that one. So let's see what is after Flux, and that is Google Imagen. So let's see what that gives us. And this is another one of my typically uh, favorite generators. I usually like, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to take this one and make it a little bigger so we could look at it. Um, I really like this from Google Imagen. I think that came out very nice. We do have, you know, some watercolor elements and it's nice and bold. I really like that one. So we're going to pop that one down here. And then after Google Imagen, I believe we have Dolly and SDXL left. So let's do Dolly. Alrighty, and here is Dolly. Um, while I like the look, I really like that. Dolly has a problem that it doesn't like to contain your image centered. I I like it, you know, a lot of these, the image is completely contained within the frame. Dolly tends to cut things off. So while that looks really nice, it's a very nice uh, rendering. I'm just not feeling it. Um, I could edit the prompt and tell it that the design is centered and it still will not listen a lot of times. And then lastly, we have SDXL flash. So let's take a look at this one. This should only take a few seconds to generate. Okay, and here is our SDXL flash. And again, this made it almost like a pattern, like a digital paper, a seamless pattern, which isn't what I was going for. I do like the colors. Um, and it does look nice. It's just not what I was going for. So let's scroll out here and take a look at all of these again and see which ones really... Let's come back over here and look at this prompt. Um, and I think uh, Ideogram 2 and 3 did a good job. I think Sea Dream 4 here did a fairly nice job. Uh, both of the GPTs didn't keep the design inside of the frame of the image. It, you know, cut pieces off, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, Nano Banana did a really nice job. I really like Nano Banana right there. I think that did a really nice job of it. Uh, Flux Context Pro was really good. Uh, the other uh, fluxes, they did nice, but again, they, you know, some of them cut it off. Some of them make it look more like a digital paper rather than just like a clip art image. Um, and then Google Imagen here is another one of my favorites for this one. That did a really nice job. And I do like the look of Dolly, but again, it didn't, you know, it cut the image off, which... You can reframe these, you can rerun them, but it, you know, it costs credits to do all of that. So I really prefer models that give me what I want the first time around and may not have to uh, regenerate over and over, you know. And SDXL, that came out really nice too, but again, it's not exactly what I was going for. So, you know, that's all the models, guys. Have a look at them, see which ones you like best, and uh, have fun creating with them. Uh, let me know in the comments which model is your favorite inside of Kittle right now. I'd love to hear it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.